Hello everyone and welcome to another channel update. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so I thought it was high time, especially since I've been getting a lot of questions about the status of my channel lately, and I, I know you guys deserve to know what's going on. Um, so in this video, I will be discussing my current and future content, especially the Fallout 76 Let's Play Season 2 which you guys constantly ask me about. Um, also, um, why some of my content seems to be missing lately and just some general updates about me personally. So, hopefully I am able to answer a lot of your questions today. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First, I'll talk about the Fallout 76 roleplay season two, since that's the topic that most people are asking about these days. Um, you guys want to know when it's coming out, and I know that during my last channel update, I estimated it would be out sometime in August. Well, obviously, that didn't happen, and I will tell you why. Um, producing the show in general is a lot more difficult this year than it was last year, mainly because the actors' uh, various schedules have changed since then. And so it's a lot more difficult for us all to meet regularly to record episodes. Uh, last year, we easily met once a week, sometimes more often. And we would record at least two episodes per session. And so it wasn't hard to build up a good backlog of episodes and to, and to keep that backlog going. Um, this year, however, we've been especially challenged. Really, really challenged. Um, we are recording episodes, so that's good news, right? Um, in, one, in one way, my prediction of sometime in August was correct. That's when we actually started recording episodes. However, it took a lot longer for us to build up a backlog of episodes because we, because we couldn't record as often. And I like to have at least four episodes between the one I'm posting on YouTube and the one we're currently recording. That way, if something happens to prevent us from recording one or more weeks in a row, you guys will never know about it. You know, there won't be an interruption in my upload schedule. Uh, but this year, <laughs> because of all of the conflicting schedules between us, we don't get to record every week anymore. It's one day every other week now, if we're lucky. <laughs> We usually only have time to record one episode on that day instead of two. Uh, sometimes we're lucky and manage to get a second one in, but not usually. Um, and, and this is even more complicated when Jack is in, a, in an episode, since Darth Molly and the guy who plays Jack is only available for recording once a month currently. <laughs> So if the next episode that we need to record has Jack in it, sometimes we just have to stop production altogether and wait a week or two or three before we can record again. So um, as you can probably tell, this has made it take longer to build up a backlog. And it also made it so that we need a larger backlog. Um, a five episode buffer isn't large enough anymore since we could use up the whole thing between recording sessions, technically. So so now the buffer needs to be more like 10 episodes or more. So yeah, I hope you can see now why, even though we've been recording since August, I haven't uploaded any of the episodes yet. And since August, we've only recorded uh, 12, 12, yeah, I think it was 12, 12 episodes. So, that's the good news, is that we've recorded 12 episodes. We've finally built up the backlog that we need. Um, and I'm in the middle of um, getting an introduction trailer uh, sort of thing made up. Uh, basically a where they are now sort of thing that we'll probably post before the first episode, since um, we're going to be skipping a lot of time in between seasons. A lot of time for our characters will have passed. And so I'm sort of making up a little sort of a little thing that goes between seasons to explain what's happened since then. Anyway, so season two will be starting soon on the channel, guys. 
I mean, I, I know I've said that a few times by now, <laughs> but this time it's actually true. I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. But <laughs> just to be perfectly honest with you guys, our recording schedule isn't the only reason that the season has been delayed so much. There are also personal real life reasons, which if they weren't a factor, I would probably have had the first episode out a month ago. Um, but my life has recently taken a couple turns that have made me extra busy on things not related to my channel. Don't worry, they're not bad turns. They're just big. And so they consume a lot of my daily life. And so I really haven't had much time to work on videos. It's been you know, pretty hectic and stressful. And I've also been dealing with some chronic health issues that have flared up, making it hard for me to sit at my computer on a lot of days. Um, so I won't go into all of the details on that stuff since it is personal, but I did want to mention it just so you guys know why things are late or not even showing up on my channel recently, like build videos and tips and tricks videos or really any thing besides my currently running Let's Plays. Simple reason. I haven't had the time to devote to extra stuff and, I, and I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that back in my last channel update that that my life has gotten extra busy lately uh, but it's still true today um, it hasn't really let up much um, but anyway um, I haven't I haven't yeah I haven't had the time to devote to extra stuff and I I do consider build videos to be extra in a way even though it's what I built my channel on but but build videos are each unique. They each require hours of planning and experimentation on new builds before I can even record a video. So each one is quite a big a big project um, as opposed to a let's play where all I have to do is record an hour of easy gameplay each week, slap a header and footer on it and call it done. You know, I can manage let's plays pretty much no matter what is going on in my life. They are really easy to do. Just the regular ones. Not I'm not talking about the scripted, really you know, technical ones like the Fallout 4 roleplay or even the Fallout 76 roleplay. I'm talking about just casual Let's Plays like Ark or The Last of Us, you know, that kind. Those are the easiest videos that I can possibly make. And so in order to keep content on my channel during these busy times in my life, that is what I can produce right now. Um, yeah, it's, it's the big projects that take a backseat, you know, when real life happens. And so the Fallout 76 roleplay, you know, while it's not a build video, it is a slightly bigger project than a regular, just casual roleplay. And so some of that has taken a backseat. Um, recently, not the recording of the episodes. I still make time for the entire, you know, cast to get together and record once a week or once every other week or whenever it is that we can get together to do that. I still make time for that. And so the episodes are being recorded as quickly as we can do it, you know, based on everyone's schedules. It's the editing them together and actually uploading them that is the difficult part, especially since this role play is a little bit more complicated than just a regular one. Um, it's got more scripted, not necessarily scripted, but more story driven, I, I should say, um, scenes and stuff like that. And sometimes it requires some special editing or maybe there's a montage or whatever. It's not as easy. Anyway, so build videos fall into this category of extra stuff, <laughs> even though, yeah, I, it is the meat. <laughs> it is basically the bread and butter of my channel. It's what gives gets me the most views is the build videos, um, but they do require so much of my time and energy. And yeah, and that doesn't mean that I'm never going to make another build video. Um, I actually have a few ideas bouncing around in my brain. Uh, from all the new building stuff that's been released in the last few months. I just haven't had the time to experiment with any of it yet. So someday, build videos will probably show up on my channel again. Um, I don't know when, just 
you know, I'm not, it's not like I've said, no, I'm never doing another build video. It's just right now, I can't. Um, but, you know, you guys will know when I do, obviously. Um, tips and tricks videos, however, will likely not be on my channel anymore. Um, and I made that decision once before, a long time ago. Then I changed my mind and made more because I had cool ideas. And then I regretted it. <laughs> you know, the reason I once said that I wouldn't be making any more tips and tricks videos is because the game is constantly changing and being patched and new things are added and old things are taken away. You know, by the time I make a video about a cool thing you can do, there's an update and the cool thing is no longer possible. Or even if it's just a guide on how to do something in the game, chances are the way those things are done will change, or the fact that you can even do them at all. Thus, my video is instantly obsolete, sometimes in the same week I publish it. Some, sometimes things were patched before I was even finished editing the video. That has happened before, and I just had to scrap the whole thing because it didn't even matter anymore. And, you know, and <laughs> that makes the video instantly obsolete before I even publish it. And that is the most uh, frustrating thing for me after spending hours upon hours of work on something. So yeah, like a year ago, I swore I'd never make another tips and tricks video, but then I kept getting cool ideas for new tips and tricks videos. And I thought maybe Bethesda won't patch it this time. <laughs> Maybe my video will actually be something that people can be, find useful for a while. So I made more against my better judgment. And guess what? <laughs> but that's to patch them. So anyway, yeah, no more, no more tips and tricks videos. It's just too frustrating. So, you know, unless I can make a video about something that will never change in the game, which, you know, isn't likely. Seems like everything is being changed these days. Anyway, so that's that's why my channel has consisted of exclusively Ark and The Last of Us 2 Let's Play um, for the last few months, because that's my current Let's Plays that I have going on, uh, casual ones. And I know, I know that that's not fun for everyone who is only interested in my Fallout content. Um, you know, I can tell that most of my viewers don't watch my non-fallout content. They get it gets much less views than my fallout content. Um, you know, but the Fallout 76 roleplay is returning soon. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say exactly when because I don't know, but it is soon. Um, I still need to make that intro trailer and edit the first episode. Um, but rest assured. That will that I will be picking away at it in whatever free moments I have, and it will eventually be done. <laughs> I can say with certainty that it will be before Christmas and hopefully before Thanksgiving, but that's about all I can say about that. And as for the Fallout 4 roleplay, which is probably the second most asked thing of me, <laughs> uh, like I said in my last channel update, I have no current plans to start season two of that series just now. Um, what I've got on my plate with Fallout 76 is is almost too much to handle as it is. And I definitely don't need to add the stress of one more complicated story roleplay to that. You know, that doesn't mean I'll never finish the Fallout 4 roleplay. It just means it's on a break until I feel like I can handle it again. I will definitely keep you guys updated about that if anything changes on that front. So that is the current status of me and my channel in a nutshell. <laughs> um, I do want to point out, especially if you're new, um, that I have a Wasteland Dovahkiin merch shop over on Teespring. So if you're interested in helping to support my channel and getting some cool Wasteland Dovahkiin merchandise, you can follow the link down in the, in the description below. I've got all kinds of things over there from t-shirts and hoodies to wall art, phone cases, socks, stickers, and, and even face masks. So go check it out. And a huge thank you to everyone who has already supported me by purchasing something from my shop. I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, if, if you don't really care about the merch but would still like to support my channel, you can also find the links to my Patreon and coffee pages down below, so go check those out if you feel so inclined. Um, I, I do want to mention a new perk that has been recently added to my Patreon. 
For any tier pledge, you will now have instant access to my private patrons-only ARC server, where you can play with me, Dink, and other patrons. Um, you can join tribes, survive the ARC with friendly people, and it's all PvE. So, you know, no PvP. You're having to worry about other players killing you and your dinos and taking all your stuff or destroying your house. So, yeah, friendly place. Instructions on how to join are in the description, too. I hope to see some of you over there. We've been having a lot of fun so far. Oh, yeah, a quick note. The ARC server is only cross-compatible between the Microsoft version of ARC on PC and Xbox not the Steam version. And of course, PlayStation is not cross-compatible with anything because Sony apparently doesn't want anyone to have fun playing games with their Xbox and PC friends. <laughs> so unfortunately, you will not be able to join my server if you play on PS4 or on the Steam version of Arc on PC. All right. So anyway, you guys, that is about all I had to tell this time around. I will be sure to keep you updated on any new developments in the future. And if you have any other questions about my content or my channel in general, feel free to ask them down below and I will answer them if I can. And keep an eye out for the new season two of Fallout 76 soon. And until then, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. See you later, guys.